Do you know five common mistakes that people make during interview session? Well, in today's video, I'll be talking about those points, so please don't skip this video. The first point is that your answers might not be in line with what you have already written in your essay. This is very common that sometimes during interview sessions, the interviewers try to test you. For example, in your essay, you say that you want to be a lecturer, but then in the interview session, the interviewers say that, oh, it's kind of hard nowadays to be a lecturer because of blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And then you suddenly say that, okay, if it's kind of hard for me to be a lecturer, I want to be something else. And you say blah, 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 and blah, 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 which is not in line with what you have already written in your essay. So my suggestion is try to be careful. If you think that what you have already written is not uh, appropriate enough, for example, or if it's not suitable enough, you need to be careful if you want to change your mind. Or if it's still possible, I think it's better to defend your argument. Because sometimes the interview very solely tests you. They don't really mean what they say so what you need to do is try to defend your argument and about this relevant answers it's also basically uh, related to the way you behave in front of the interviewers in your document or in your application form you say that you are a hardworking person but then during interview session you don't really show the quality of a hardworking person for example from the way you say it the way you speak the way you say the way you answer it's not, you know, reflecting uh, the quality of a hardworking person. This is also one thing that should be your concern. The second point is also very important. So yeah, I think you need to know about this point as well because it can help you succeed during your interview session. But before talking about the second point, I'm gonna show you something. Apalagi kalau bukan produk dari Scarlett. Nah, ini dia varian terbaru untuk body care-nya, untuk body lotion-nya. Jadi, di sini ada varian Jolly. Kalau kalian udah tahu sebelumnya ada 4 varian yang lama, nah ini yang terbaru Jolly. Jadi, totalnya untuk body lotion-nya sendiri sekarang punya 5 varian. Nah, sebelum pakai body lotion ini, kalian jangan lupa pakai ini dia, body scrub-nya dulu. Di sini aku punya yang varian Pomegranate. Ini kalau kalian lihat teksturnya itu dalamnya ada beads-nya. Jadi ini tujuannya untuk membantu eksfoliasi kulit ya kan, untuk mengangkat sel-sel kulit mati dan juga untuk melembabkan, refreshing juga. Jadi ini memang manfaatnya banyak banget dan aromanya juga enak banget. Pertama badan bisa dibasahi dulu, terus kalian olesin body scrub ke seluruh tubuh saat mandi, diamkan beberapa saat atau sampai sudah mengering scrub-nya, terus bisa kalian bilas. Setelah dibilas body scrub-nya, bisa kalian lanjutkan dengan ini dia brightening shower scrub ini sabun tapi dia juga mengandung scrub dan jangan khawatir karena scrubnya itu halus banget kalau kalian lihat di sini bulirannya lembut banget dan warnanya cantik banget ya ini yang varian pomegranate nah lalu kalian pakai ini setelah kalian pakai ini selesai mandi lanjut deh kalian bisa pakai yang body lotion ini yang varian jolly untuk teksturnya sendiri bisa kita lihat di sini teksturnya itu mudah diratakan wanginya juga mahal terasa banget wanginya mahal jadi kesanku saat pakai ini tuh wanginya enak banget this is like one of my favorites body lotion ini sendiri mengandung bahan-bahan bermanfaat seperti glutathione vitamin E kojic acid dan juga niacinamide jadi secara bahan ini memang udah dibuat dari bahan-bahan terpilih dan tentunya produk-produk Scarlett itu BPOM jadi kalian nggak ragu nggak usah takut ada bahan-bahan yang berbahaya buat kulit bahkan saking amannya produk-produk Scarlett ini bisa juga digunakan oleh ibu hamil maupun ibu menyusui jadi buat kalian yang lagi hamil atau menyusui terus kalian bingung pakai produk apa ya nggak usah khawatir karena produk Scarlett ini ramah banget buat ibu hamil dan ibu menyusui seperti itu Adapun manfaatnya tentu banyak banget yang pertama, body lotion ini bisa membantu mengembalikan kelembaban kulit tubuh. Selain itu, bisa juga membantu mencerahkan kulit tubuh, menutrisi kulit tubuh dengan kandungan terbaiknya, dan menyegarkan serta memberi keharuman yang tahan lama. Jadi buat masalah keharuman ini memang nggak diragukan lagi. Bahkan saat kalian selesai mandi, kalau udah pakai 
um, brightness shower scrubnya itu wanginya tuh bisa bertahan meskipun udah dibilas tapi masih tetap wangi ditambah lagi oleh keharuman dari body lotion ini jadi bener-bener memberikan kesegaran yang mungkin kalian gak perlu pakai parfum lagi deh karena ini memang wanginya udah tahan lama seperti itu yang aku suka dari produk Scarlet ini dia itu cocok untuk semua jenis kulit jadi misalnya kalian punya kulit yang kering maupun kulit yang berminyak maupun kombinasi itu cocok banget pakai produk-produk Scarlet ini pokoknya ramah dan aman buat semua jenis kulit seperti itu dan juga harganya itu kan flat price ya jadi baik untuk body scrub Uh, sabun maupun untuk yang body lotion semuanya itu 75000 flat price Kayak aku juga suka banget sama kemasannya dia tuh punya double lock jadi lock yang pertama dia tuh bisa diputer kayak gini nah ini kalau misal kalian muter nanti bisa kunci sendiri kalau bisa membuka tinggal diputer lagi kayak gini dan biar lebih aman lagi ada lock yang sifatnya tuh kayak ngunci gitu di sini. Jadi misal kalian mau traveling dan bawa body lotion ini, gak usah takut dia tuh tumpah atau bocor atau nanti kena ke barang-barang lain, gak usah takut karena memang ini udah aman banget. Untuk dua produk lainnya sendiri, selain dia itu berfungsi untuk membersihkan saat kita mandi, dia mengangkat sel-sel kulit mati dan juga menyegarkan, uh, menghaluskan kulit, dia juga menutrisi kulit. Ini yang penting banget ya. Jadi kalau misal kita pakai produk tertentu, jangan cari yang hanya uh, memutihkan seperti itu, tapi juga yang menutrisi kulit. Dan memang produk Scarlet ini bisa membantu untuk mencerahkan kulit kita seperti itu. Jadi memang fungsinya banyak banget, manfaatnya banyak banget, kelebihan banyak banget kita nggak perlu ragu lagi deh pakai produk-produk Scarlet. Kalau misal kalian pengen beli, gampang banget kalian bisa beli melalui Line, bisa juga melalui WhatsApp, bisa juga melalui Shopee, Shopee Mall. Nanti kalian bisa lihat linknya di description box nanti akan aku cantumin di situ ya. Kalian juga bisa cek di Instagramnya buat lihat produk-produk lain di @scarlet_whitening. Well, that's it about Scarlett, and now let's get back to our second point. The second point is that your answers might not be realistic. This is also very common during interview session. So my suggestion here is that if you get any question and you need to show about your plans, for example, you need to make sure that all of them are not only relevant, but also realistic. So if the interviewers ask you what you're gonna do after finishing your study, Instead of saying like, I want to make my country to be a um, developed country, which is, I think, possible, but unfortunately, it's quite hard, right? You can talk about something else, which is quite specific to your field. So, for example, you can say that if your field is education, you can say that I won't make Indonesian people to... Um, have good education. Well, I think it's more realistic than saying you want to make Indonesia to be a developed country. Another example is that if you major or your field is English and instead of saying I want to make every single person in Indonesia can speak English well which is I think good but it's not realistic enough if you want to make every single person in Indonesia can speak English well, right? Every single person means all society, all people in Indonesia. So instead of saying that, you can say I want to increase the level of proficiency or language proficiency among Indonesians. I think that's more achievable and that's also more realistic. So please be specific to your field and also if your scope is too big or too large, I think that's better to tell something achievable that you can do after your graduation. The third point that sometimes make people fail during interview session is that the arguments are quite shallow so this is also another concern that you need to think of if you have any argument to answer any question that the interviewers might give you you need to make sure that it's not shallow a good example of this is that for example your interviewers ask you why do you want to study at x university and then you simply say that yeah because x university has a very good quality of education for example or because 
at X university, I'm gonna have good facility, for example, blah, 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 which is quite common. Because talking about facility, I think um, if we talk about foreign universities, like for example, universities in the UK, all of them have good quality and also facility. So it's not enough if we only say, I want to study at university X because it has good quality. It's also very common that candidates who get questions like, for example, what makes you unique or what makes you different from other candidates? And they simply say that um, I'm different from other candidates because I'm an activist. I join so many organizations, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Well, um, actually, it can be one of the ways that you can answer that type of question but it's not the ideal to me so if you want to know how to answer a question like what makes you different or what makes you unique actually i have already made a video a specific video about this so you can see the link here and you can just click it to know how to answer that type of question ideally so that your argument is not shallow the fourth common mistake that people make during interview session is that they're not aware of their personality and also attitude. Well, these are basically two different things between personality and also attitude. So personality is more like about um, yourself, about like for example, um, you are an extrovert, for example, you are an introvert or ambivert, or perhaps you have another type of personality. Well, attitude means like how you behave. For example, you are faced with a certain condition and then how you react, how you act about that thing is basically your attitude. So during interview session, you also need to be aware of this. First of all, about personality. If you think that you are an introvert person and it's kind of hard for you to try to elaborate your answer, perhaps if you talk to um, someone that you just meet, for example, you need to work on it. And vice versa if you think that you are an extrovert person you tend to talk much you are a talkative person you need to know how to control yourself so that you don't be that fussy person because it can be annoying right so this is about personality really you need to know um, how to manage yourself so that you can have a good self-control well, and about attitude, this is also very common that during interview session, there might be some things that make you uncomfortable. It can be about the questions, it can be about um, the way the interviewers ask you because sometimes they try to test you and perhaps the way they ask you is not that humble enough. Um, kind of a little bit fierce for example so you need to show a good attitude as well because sometimes they're actually humble but because that's the interview session and they want to have that impression to test your mentality so please you need to be aware of personality and also attitude the fifth point which is also the last point about the mistakes that people commonly make during interview session is that they are not impressive I know this is quite hard to be impressive. Sometimes we think that we are already good, but then other people think that we are not impressive enough. So this is basically another thing that we need to keep in mind. So if you want to look impressive in front of the interviewers, there are so many things that you need to do. It's not only about your answers, but also about the way you answer, about the way you behave, the way you dress, for example. So you need to also make sure the dress that you wear um, during interview session is comfortable enough, is polite enough, the way you deliver your message. You need to think of the public speaking skill as well so that you can really deliver the message because sometimes you have so so many brilliant ideas unfortunately you don't know how to deliver it especially if you use English during your interview session it's very common that your brilliant ideas cannot come up easily or sometimes the way you speak becomes you know um, kind of difficult for the audience to understand what you mean so that's basically one of the things that sometimes make your interview doesn't impressive enough
you also need to know about the intonation, the ideal intonation that you need to use during your interview session because sometimes if you always use high intonation, that's gonna be so boring, that's no easy listening and if you use, if you always use like falling intonation, it's also kind of sleepy for people to listen to you speaking so please try to mix them and you need to know when you need to use high intonation why you need to use a low intonation or falling intonation there are so many things that basically you need to know if you want to make sure that your message or your ideas can be delivered easily and also effectively and the good news is i have already made a video about this so if you want to know you can just click the link here i'm gonna link it there and i hope that it will help you a lot in terms of um, delivering your message during interview session well guys i think that's all for today's video if you still have any question that you think um, i can relate with you can simply write down your question in the comment sections below Thank you very much. Bye.